In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own business card in Photoshop. So let's get started. First, I'm going to select my rectangle tool and I'll create a rectangle here. So I'll change my color to black. As I have it over here. Next, I will create another rectangle tool, a very small one, at the edge of my file, and I will change the color to yellow. Next, I'm going to select my rectangle tool, and I'll press Ctrl T on my keyboard, and I'll right click and select Warp. Then I will adjust my rectangle to the size I really want. So let's say I want my size right over here. Then I'll click OK. Next, I'm going to make a copy of the rectangle I just edited. So I'll press Ctrl J on my keyboard and I'll change the color to yellow. Next, I'm going to place my rectangle, my yellow rectangle, beneath my black rectangle. And I'm going to use my arrow key on my keyboard to drag it to the right side a bit. So I have this over here. Now, I'm going to add my name to the card or your business name. So I'll select the test tool. And I'll start to type my name. The font that I'm using is Bearbass, and you can download it in the description. So I'm going to place my test right over here, and I'll make a duplicate of it, and I'll edit that to. graphic designer so you instead of that you place it with your yeah you place it with your um, your business name so I will change that from to uh, times new yeah and I'll set the color to red then I will adjust this one to the size Oh, yeah, any. So I will, just, I will adjust this one correctly. I'll bring it down a bit. So the next thing we're going to do, we are going to add a info to the card. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, an eclipse. So I'll select the eclipse and I'll create a small eclipse here. And I'll change the color to yellow since it is under this particular rectangle i'm going to push it up to the top so that it comes forward so i'll make a duplicate of this and bring it down and i'll select both of them and i'll bring it down again so when this is done, I can select all of them and position them as I want it. So to make this look more beautiful, I decided to add another rectangle to the whole of this eclipse I've created here. So I'll add another rectangle. So I'll zoom in to see here yeah, I have it correctly over here so i'm going to add the info but then i'm going to add my costume shapes and you can download that in the description below so the first thing i'm going to add is my telephone number so i'll just draw it right here 
and I'll change the color to black to make it look more nice. So I'll position it very nicely. Then I'll go to my costume shapes again and I'll add my email address. So I draw my email address right over here. Then I'll go to my costume shapes and I will add my Facebook account. So you can keep in touch in Facebook, right? Good. So I will just position it very nicely. And last, I will add my that's in my YouTube channel. Yeah, my YouTube channel name. So I'll add my YouTube channel. So I have it here. Now I'm going to type the names right here. So I'll change my form to white. Uh, my sorry, my color to white, and I'll change the form to T W sent empty condensed. You can download that to in the description. So I'm going to type my number. Is plus two three three um, five four two nine five nine eight three sorry eight three nine good so I'll add my number right here and I will duplicate this test that I just made and drag it down so that I can type in my email so the email is just call me innocent at gmail.com so you can email me for any further questions on this card so i will make a du duplicate of that too and i input my facebook name so um, innocent keyword So that's the name I use both on Facebook and YouTube. So I'll just duplicate this one and place it right over here. So you can add other stuff to your business card to make it look more attractive. So I decided to um, import my, it's not my real logo. So I just import this one, a sign of a logo. So you place your logo there. You adjust it to the size you really want. So when everything is set and done, you can go ahead and save your work. And that's it, guys. That's basically how to design uh, your own business card. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, I hope you give it a, a like and perhaps you subscribe to my channel for more videos. So feel free to. Ask me anything in the comment section and I'm going to answer all questions. So till the next video, stay cool, stay blessed.